Hello everyone and welcome back to Drive Beyond Horizons. Mainly due to the fact that when I was editing the second episode there was not a lot happening basically. Um, I ended up just dying of dehydration because I had thought that I picked up the right stuff but I had not picked up uh, any drinks. I had picked up food and only food so I dehydrated pretty quickly. Uh, and I also didn't actually see anything to do with zombies uh, in the first playthrough that I did. It was really weird. I got to about 35 kind of K. So not the full 50. Uh, but I got to th about 35. And then I didn't really do... Nothing happened, basically. <laughs> Nothing of interest happened. So I kind of just thought, okay, let's start again. The other thing I learned was that there is no save in this game. <laughs> you cannot save. So if you exit out and you're kind of done with your run. Which it would be nice if that didn't happen but I guess they've made that decision for a reason. Why are we going backwards? I don't mind. There we go. So we're, we're heading towards this radio tower. Not exactly sure what we're going to find there, but we've got some good goodies with us. We've got the rifle and some night vision goggles, so as we get a little bit closer I'll bust out the night vision goggles just to see if there's anyone hanging around. Also looks like there might be a car there, which could be useful to us. A little bit of off-roading, fine. The car can take it. Do we have any visitors that need shooting? Potentially. Potentially. Yeah, we do. Okay. That's fine. It doesn't seem like there's many. And let's get the night vision goggles out. That do nothing during the day, admittedly. It's fine. Right. Uh, give me the gun. There we go. My night vision's on the floor, but it's fine. Let's leave that open. Uh, we've got another... Actually, before we do that, let's put the night vision back in the car. Just in case we need to make a speedy getaway. So, let's go for a wonder. How many around here are there? Just the one by the looks of it, but that's unusual. There we go. I was going to say there's normally more than one. Now something I haven't tried is can I shoot through the fence at these guys? Because he's going to come towards me. He's also going to get stuck. It's also turning night so I probably shouldn't have done this at night but never mind. You okay dude? Oh, we got someone moonwalking over to us. So we should probably go take him out first because he's going to moonwalk to us first. You're out of it. Although I don't know how many bullets it normally takes to take these guys out. I don't know if you're dead dead. I'm assuming so. Oh, yeah, he disappeared. He's dead. Fine. I'm assuming we can't shoot through the fence then being as he didn't seem to take much from it oops there we go you're down always got double tap uh can i shoot you through the fence hey apparently not So you're going to be a bit of a pest to get rid of. But if you could come this way, sir. Or just wait there. That's fine. Oh, look, a rainbow. Uh, let's drive the car a little bit closer. And then we'll see if the gun is needed to take out anyone who may be inside. I don't know if they normally hide inside. Normally I just take the ones that are outside. Although, to be fair, normally I just 
have a look to see if I need to go in there at all. Um, put that in there. Drive the car. Go backwards a little bit, but that's fine. <laughs> Move it a bit closer. We may switch over to this car, although it doesn't look any better than the one we've got, so maybe we won't turn that off. Get out, get my trusty night vision. Right, what we got? There is some stuff in there. Some stuff on the roof, some stuff outside, some stuff on the floor. The question I wanted was, is there anyone inside? But we may not have an answer to that. So we may have to just get the old fisticuffs up. Give them a one, two, you know. Anyone inside here? They don't really make any noise, so you can't even, like, try and figure out if there's anyone here from that. Ooh, you can send yourself flying with, like, these kinds of crates. They are a bit of a pain. Close that for now. Get out my way. Anyone in here? Where? Thank you, door, for shoving me out of the way. Anyone? No. Anyone in here? You push or pull? Oh, you push. Got my fisties. Fisty cuffs. Ready to fight? No. Okay. What? Might want. Uh, no, that's a boot. Never mind. Uh, well, there's a better light, which we want, I think. I don't know how to get up on the roof, actually, unless you have to, like, build your way up there. Uh, let's replace... No, that's the tyre. Oh, I also forgot to close this. I should probably close that. There we go. I want that light and mount. There we go. You get out of here. You get in. Oh, tires. I think we just saw that one of them was used. Which one was it? I think it was this one. A little one. Yeah, might as well replace my tires. Why not? Why not? This is all free for all. Uh, some water, engine oil. Don't want that. That's all this over here. Engine oil, engine oil, petrol. Rubbish. Okay. What I will do is take the one that's water and drink it. Probably take that with us actually. It's a small enough. It's not worth taking the big barrels. That one should be fine. You can go in there somewhere. Right there. No. Okay. Come on. Okay. I was going to go there for a minute just while I repack this trusty gun there. Put that there. There we go. So, can we get on top of the car? Not really. How do I get up there? Because there's no, like, real way up there. Unless you jump on these. You kind of just fall off them. Do I have to, like... Is that what these are for? Where you sort of, like, put them against the wall? Can I jump on that? Mm, not really. What if I put this at an angle? Nope. 
how do we get up there? Something fragile. I don't know what those things do. A mattress. That's not going to get through the door. Oh, of course, steering wheel, though. Don't steering wheel. How do we get up there? What? Okay. So that allows us to go on there, interestingly. Or did. Can we get up there now? No. Okay. Uh, do I have to do some sort of like parkour? Like maybe I have to get on here and then on here. Because there's like an engine and there's some good stuff up there so I kind of want to get up there but I'm just not entirely sure how. Unless I... Oh, I wonder who... Because I can get up there. Oh. So close. You're just so bouncy. I feel like I'm gonna get myself stuck in this car. One eternity later. So after a ridiculously long amount of time trying to parkour my way up there, I've come to the conclusion that it's just not possible. <laughs> you cannot get up on that roof. Like I'm just trying to get that engine. Like I'm not even trying to properly get up there, but there is just no way up there. I've tried to parkour along this, I've tried to make a little ramp, I've tried to make a jumping puzzle for myself and I'm getting nowhere with it. And as you can see I'm already 46 minutes into this run so I'm not exactly sure it is possible to get up there which is a shame because there is sort of stuff up there. So there must be a way somehow. I just don't know what that way is. I don't know whether you need to bring like your car in. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's just, it seems impossible, honestly. Um, but I will, I'm stuck on all of this stuff now. There we go. So for the sake of my own sanity for right now, I'm going to call that impossible and uh, we will revisit it at another tower just to see if if it's any easier or if it's any worth doing in the first place. Like I said, that one, I just wanted the engine on there because it's probably better than the engine that I've got, but we have wasted far too much time and I cannot be bothered to continue. Whoops. There we go. So let's continue our little off-road to see what else we come across. We've only made it like 2.7 kilometers in so we've not even seen a quarter like it is crazy how far you think 50 kilometers isn't that difficult until you start playing this and you start going and it takes it takes a long time <laughs> to get that far I have seen one of the endings thus far uh, the UFO ending which is kind of entertaining uh, you uh, it I didn't know what was happening until it was happening <laughs> and I know that's really vague but I'm trying to keep it a little bit vague Whoops. Um, just so that if you want to experience it for yourself you can but it was it was kind of entertaining where when I realized what was happening I was like oh god we've got to go right I also realized that you can open it from this way I thought you had to get in it is empty in here what is this normally there's like at least a car in that i feel ripped off damn okay all right fine don't give me anything I, it's not that i need it or anything like that right these are so finicky it's like you gotta kind of get the just the right angle and pray that it goes in. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Get your mind out the gutters. Get in! Ugh. There we go. Sometimes it's like snaps straight to it and then sometimes it just takes forever. 
Right, we don't care about you. We've got a couple in there already. Uh, what we got? Uh, we could make the car look a little bit nicer, I suppose. I haven't bothered brushing it. I mean, it's a yellow car, for God's sake. There we go. Now we'll be able to spot it from miles away. Okay, what else we got in here? Uh, is this really it? Just spray paint, oil, water. We've got water, engine. Might as well get a top up. Top up our water. Cool. Some pallets. That's it. Okay. Nice simple one I suppose. Uh, in. Shut out. Make sure door. Go backwards. And we're off again. I really need to remember to shut this. We've come across a car that kind of looks cool. No steering wheel, no engine, no nothing. But there is a battery there. Hello? Battery? There we go. Battery there. My stomach's grumbling, so I'm just going to grab something to eat. Should probably also turn my lights off because they make that look so dark over there. Get in the car. Turn the lights off. There we go. Uh, what else we got around here? Some horn, some food. Oh, binoculars. They could be useful. I might actually move everything over to this car because, like, this car looks pretty cool. So let's open her up. No. Detach that. See, this is when that engine would have been cool. Because that engine back there looks like it could have gone into this car. Although, having said that, we could probably make use of this engine. Here you go. Attach that in there. No. That one. Thank you. Put that in there. Detach that. Take my number plate off. Gotta have my number plate. It's very important. Attach. 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 There we go. Uh, it's gonna need some of those. Anything of use to us? Another car door. Nice. What's this? Oh, a griddle. I think that's what that's called. Attach that to there. Might have to find a bonnet somewhere. What's in this? Uh, nothing of use. Okay, so. We do have a brand new tyre over here though, and I think one of ours was worn, so let's have a look. Brand new. Brand new. Brand new and brand new. Okay, fine. I just realised there's no seat in there. Okay. Also going to have to steal a seat. Right, let's get that tyre in there just in case. I also want that. Attach that. Uh, we're going to want night goggles. Find some fancier brake pedals somewhere along the road, but for now we'll take these ones. Do you have to use a med kit at some point, but I think we're okay for now. Does this have a... Yeah, it does. Okay. I think we have all of the important parts from in here. Uh... That looks alright, that's pretty empty anyway. Might as well just take one more bit of food. And then we are going to get back on the road. Cool. In the car, close that. Windows are filthy. But never mind, switch on. Yeah, it works. Cool. I don't seem to be able to go backwards, but we can go forwards. So that's all we need to know. Need to find a bonnet for this at some point, but I'm sure we will. Well, oh, that's a much louder car, I know that. Although, actually, 
Man, this car cannot go backwards. How weird is that? Just suddenly thought, we don't have... I didn't check the petrol on this. And we just filled up that car. So it should probably... Yeah, this is why I just said about the petrol. <laughs> it's always one thing after another with these cars, isn't it? Are you empty? Yep, yeah, you're empty. Okay. See, we did just fill up this car, and there's no way of, like, siphoning. There apparently was a way to, but I've only seen it with cars that are upside down. So we can't seem to get anything from there, so I am going to have to use one of these. If I can get it out. There we go. And it's a weird, like, at the back one. So that's how far down that has to go. Oh, there we go. We don't have a lot of petrol to put in this, so I'm hoping we can make it to somewhere else without having to use the second one that we've got. Uh, so petrol's become a bit of a problem. This can's also become a bit of a problem. Could you just get in there, please? Look, it's not that difficult. That'll do. Uh, I'll go it in. Right. There we go. I'm so curious why there's no... Why can we not go backwards with this? Is it like a four-wheel drive? Is that the only... I don't know why we can't drive backwards, but... We're back on the road. I don't know if these gauges actually like work because that's saying that we don't have a lot of petrol and we're only going like two miles an hour, which we're definitely going more than that. So I'm not entirely sure those gauges work. This one's definitely louder than the other ones. I'll come back when I find something interesting. We've got a building coming up. I think it's another garage. There's also a car coming up on our on our right. We're not doing too great on petrol, so I'm more interested in seeing if we can get to that garage more than the car. Maybe I'll come back to this car in a minute once we've gone to the garage. The real question is, is do we have any visitors in the garage? Not by the looks of it. Right, which side do we reckon the pump's on? Oh, it's at the back, isn't it? So it shouldn't really matter where we stop. Don't mind me. Right, perfect. Can I get out? Can I be stuck? It's a bit close, but never mind. I don't think there seems to be anyone here, but I am going to take this with me just in case. What do we got around here? We've got an engine. Over the other side there, we've got some car doors, some pedals. Fuel cap. Anyone around the side? Nope. Anyone inside? Mm, not by the looks of it. Okay. Looks like the coast is clear. Leave that in there then. I'm going to get the fisticuffs out, just in case. Anyone wants to come jump me? No. No. Okay. We're good. We're all good. Which I'm going to end up just taking a few drinks. You want to use these machines because they give you this one. Which is a, a really good 
sort of like you can sprint really far and you can sprint really fast. So you want to pick up the energy drinks. So what's this engine? Another five. HUD cap. Don't really care about that. Don't really care about these things. What we do care about is petrol. So if we can... That's already open because... I forgot to close it. Uh, put this in here. Somehow. Hello. Ah, there we go. Refill that. This might take a while. I'll be back. So I've gone ahead and looted the place. Picked up a couple of energy drink cans. Uh, didn't really find anything else of interest so we're just gonna head on out I don't really need to wait for a, a day didn't see anything else of interest there was only end of the door around the back uh, full now I'd petrol which is great uh, I'm not gonna bother going back to the car that was behind us don't see the point in going back there just top myself up on food and hydration so we should be good to hit the road again and I'll come back when I find something of interest well it started snowing and I've come across something else that was in one of the latest updates. A trailer. I don't know how trailers go on to a car. I would assume they it needs some wheels. Because, well, the looks of it, this thing doesn't have any wheels on it. I also don't know which part of this I'm actually sort of brushing. But it's doing something. Eh, uh, why not answer this? Hello? You're not going to believe this, but really strange things are happening here. Really? We just saw a green light flashing in the sky. Oh. A weird buzzing sound coming from nowhere. Plus, my electronic devices are acting strangely. Huh. I feel like I'm being watched. Huh. Do you think it could be aliens? Not aliens. I'm freaking out. Yeah, unfortunately there probably is aliens. Uh, where did that brush go? Where did I throw that brush? Oh, there it is. I was going to say it's disappeared off the face of the earth. Right, let's continue brushing this. Oh. Or not. Oh, look, more night vision goggles. Won't say no to those. Oink. Uh, yeah, so I, I really do want one of these trailers. I just don't know how you're supposed to attach them because. This one doesn't have any wheels anyway. I think there's anything else of interest around here. Oop. Oh, I found a bonnet for the hood of my car. I should probably should have cleaned that before cleaning the... Oh well. Never mind. Right, on to the next one. One thing I do like about these heavier cars, they are louder, but they do drive a lot smoother. Like, I can tap the keys and I just slightly turn. I don't go flying off left or right. So there is a, an advantage of driving one of the high, the uh, the heavier cars. I do like how, even though it's snowing, there's still that heat effect that I can see. Like, I don't know if it snows in the desert and, like, maybe this is just some weird phenomena, but... I don't think you get heat waves like you know when you can see the heat I don't think you get that when it snows oh look lots of friends hello friends how's it going I don't know whether that means like there's something really good there You know, part of me really wants to, like... I can't turn in this bloody car. Should we take them on? Probably not. But in the interest of doing something interesting... Why not? Maybe that guard in something, like, really cool. How many shots do I have left? 20. Yeah, there's not 20 of them there. How far can we shoot this thing?
pretty far. It's pretty impressive, actually. Feel kind of bad. I mean, I'm going for headshots, but I actually don't think you have to... I think you could just hit them from anywhere. Oh no, no no, you you do want the headshots. If you don't get the headshots then they kind of don't die in a hit. And Venus only have 13 bullets left. Hello. I'm sorry, you were just enjoying your day staring at the weather. And I came and ruined it. Sorry about that. Sorry, not really that sorry, to be fair. Then it? Then it? That seems to be it. Okay. Did we do this for any reason other than because we could? I'm gonna have to put the gun down. It can't open things. 